Okay, SSRIs are the first-line drug for major depressive disorder, but it was comprehensively beaten by psilocybin, a compound found in magic mushrooms. Can magic mushrooms cure depression? Find out today on Tiny Medicine. The New England Journal of Medicine published a groundbreaking research article on the 15th of April 2021. The psychedelic drug psilocybin competed against escitalopram, a well-established selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor in a small-scale clinical trial. The findings are disruptive. The speed. The problem with SSRIs was that it took two to six weeks for the onset of therapeutic effects. This trial showed that psilocybin did it faster. People came out of depression faster with the help of psilocybin. But with time, the gap narrowed as both groups of drugs reached the maximum therapeutic effect. In short, both drugs produce similar outcomes, but psilocybin acts fast. The insight. People with severe depression often don't understand why they are depressed. They lack the full insight into the disease. It was found that magic mushroom compounds finally gave these patients the insight to understand why they are depressed. Half of the study group received escitalopram and the other half received psilocybin. Instead of giving psilocybin every day, researchers gave some placebo capsules in between the dosing days. The insight was greater in days when the group received the actual psilocybin compared to the days they received the placebo capsule. The profound experiences. I'm an atheist, but I have to be unbiased in this discussion. Whether we like it or not, psychedelic users have reported having deeply moving experiences like encountering God or the ultimate reality. If you are a religious person, you can think of psilocybin as a key that opens a gate to your God. If you're an atheist like me, you'd probably believe this experience itself is an effect of psychedelics. Nevertheless, studies conducted at reputed institutes like Johns Hopkins University have found that these mystic experiences have advantages like improving the mental well-being of patients, helping people to quit smoking, and helping cancer patients with pain and depression. The Ancillary Effects Depression is a complex disorder. It's not all about the major symptoms like sadness and inability to feel pleasure. Depression is associated with ancillary effects like not feeling well, reduced social functions, and difficulties in expressing emotions. Though the usual SSRIs were somewhat helpful with these symptoms, it was shown that magic mushroom compounds were far superior on ancillary outcomes. How does psilocybin work? Psilocybin is a psychoactive drug. It is rapidly converted in the body to a compound named psilocin. Psilocin partially activates serotonin receptors of the brain. Serotonin receptors are found in many parts of the brain, including the cerebral cortex. Serotonin plays a vital role in brain functions like mood, sex, appetite, and motivation. The Side Effects of Psilocybin Magic mushrooms are known to cause visual and auditory hallucinations. Your brain will make you hear sounds even when the ears don't pick any noises. The brain will create vivid images even when the eyes are closed. It can also make time feel slower by altering your time perception. But these effects can be minimized by the right dosing. I don't think it will be a huge issue since psilocybin mushrooms are not known to cause addiction. The Wisdom <laughs> The problems of the study are the small sample size and the lack of diversity among participants. Nevertheless, these research findings are disruptive. Just think about it. Psilocybin is as effective as standard antidepressants in primary outcomes, but it's faster, provides better insight, and has better ancillary outcomes. And the adverse effects were found to be similar in both groups. So, can't we replace SSRIs with magic psilocybin? Or can we use it as a combination treatment for depression? <laughs>